Hi friends, it's Ali Shalaby and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. All the hot girls make it pop pop pop. Bad pop, pop. with the bag say ay ay ay. So today I am going to be doing a video that's inspired by Heidi Kate on TikTok. She has done a few TikToks where she basically gets ready and then just talks about her bad experiences with men. And I kind of just remembered that this happened to me. Um, so I thought that I would do the same thing, um, but in kind of YouTube video form because it's a fairly long story. Um, so yeah, let's just hop in. So this happened in late July to early August of 2019, which means that I was 17 at the time and just about to start my senior year of high school. So if you don't know, I train both judo and jujitsu and my jujitsu gym is absolutely amazing. Um, unfortunately, I haven't been able to go in lately because of COVID, and then my arthritis was pretty bad at one point. But at the time, I was able to train, and like I said, it's an absolutely amazing place to train jujitsu. So one day, I went in for open mat, which if you don't know, is basically where you just go to practice your skills, kind of like um, you're in a match. So you'll go and you'll roll with someone for five minutes and then you switch and roll with someone else. So on this particular day, I ended up rolling with someone who I hadn't met before, which definitely wasn't uncommon. And, you know, I'm always excited to meet new people and roll with them and get get more experience. That's a huge part of doing judo or jujitsu. And at my gym, we also have a very clear rule where if you don't want to roll with someone, you do not have to. You can just say no. They don't have any right to question it. Um, and our coaches will always pair girls with girls and then guys with guys in a class setting. Um, unless there's an uneven amount in which someone who's older or a higher belt level will go with someone of the opposite gender. Basically, to go back to the you don't have to roll with someone if you don't want to, that rule is more for open mat's sake when you are picking your own partners. And I have never had any problem with rolling with guys. Um, for some girls, it's uncomfortable, and for some guys, it's uncomfortable too. Um, but just for me personally, I've always been okay with it. Um, I'm used to it. Literally almost all of my judo teammates are men and they're like older brothers to me. We're, you know, really close and I'm used to rolling with all of them. And the same goes for my jujitsu team. It isn't all men. There are, you know, a good amount of guys who train there and I end up rolling with them a lot. So when this guy asks me to roll with him, I didn't, you know, I don't think anything of it. You know, we roll, he gives me some pointers. He introduces himself after, I'll just call him Matt. He's gonna be Matt. Matt introduces himself after, I introduce myself too. You know, we say nice to meet you and go on and roll with other people. Then later that day, he ended up following me on Instagram, um, and then, again, didn't think anything weird of it, because I follow most of my teammates on Instagram, like any of them that I know of, their Instagram handle, I follow them. So, again, didn't think anything of it, followed him back, added his Snapchat, again, any of my teammates who have a Snapchat, you know, we add each other. He messages me later after I add him and just says like, hey Ellie, thanks for the ad. Um, and it was nice rolling with you. I just said like, oh, hey Matt. Yeah, thanks for rolling with me and for giving me all of these pointers. Um, you know, it was nice to meet you too. And then he had like messaged me again and asked like what days I was in the gym. 
and I was like oh I'm in the gym most days I'm like at the time I was there like Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday um for the most part and he kind of just says like oh okay that's cool you know hopefully I'll see you around I'm gonna be out of town for work for a little bit but um you know I'll probably see you when I get back and I was like yeah that sounds good um, you know, it'd be cool to roll together again when you're back. Okay, so I plugged in my old phone because I have all of the messages he sent me screenshotted and saved on here. So, basically, after that, you know, it was a couple days, didn't talk to him. Um, and then he had messaged me and said, and I quote, I want to see your pretty face. LOL, I don't care if you have makeup on. And I was uncomfortable with that. So I kind of just said, oh, LOL, thank you. I had a ton of powder on, so I looked a little funny. Um, I was baking my face and just didn't want to send a picture. But I'm like, you know, I barely know you, dude. Like, and that's a creepy comment because I didn't know exactly how old he was. But I was assuming he was like in his late 20s. After I tell him, you know, I had a ton of powder on my face, that's why I didn't send a picture. Um, he goes, so, lol. And again, I was pretty uncomfortable at that point, so I just kind of said, lol, fair point. So after I'd said, lol, fair point, he says, you're so shy. And again, this whole thing is becoming increasingly more uncomfortable for me um and I kind of just say lol at least I'm not as bad as I was when I was a kid because I was a horribly shy kid um you know and I haven't been shy in years at that point I was like you know mentally I was like I'm not shy at all you're just making me uncomfortable and he's like you were very shy as a kid lol I feel like guys who just constantly use LOL in every message they send are no good. Like, in my experience, that is always how it's been. And then after he had asked, you know, if I was shy as a kid, he said, so what did you do at the library? Because earlier I had, like, just, you know, sent a picture of, like, my books or whatever when I was at the library. Because um, at the time... I was doing an online chem class, so I had just been there studying and working on that. Um, so I just said, so shy, lol, as far as me being so shy as a kid. And then I just said, online chem class, because again, that's what I'd been doing. So later that day, I just decided to do my makeup, you know, get all fancy just because I enjoy doing makeup again like today I don't have anywhere to be but I love doing makeup it's a passion of mine so I did it and I really liked how it turned out so I just posted a video of it on my snapchat story so his response to my post on my story was so what's the occasion lol and again, I'm like, why are you asking? Why does there have to be an occasion? But what I said to him is just as being in the mood to get dolled up count. Because I'm like, that's exactly what the occasion was. There is none. He answers and he just says, I have no idea. LOL. Sure, I guess. And then says, I forgot it's a Friday. So yeah. I said, I know it seriously doesn't feel like a Friday. He goes on to tell me about his day. He says, just, you know, what he did. And then he goes and says, I'll also look into what kind of shows they still have around town and we can check that out and head out to Empanada Joint when I come back. Which is obviously just a place that serves empanadas. Which he had found out about because I posted on my Instagram story a picture of empanadas and just the place they were at when I was there with my dad and he had like gone through my stories and found that and replied to it and was just like oh we should go there and I was like uh haha -ha, yeah 
no, I don't know how old you are, but I know you're way too old to be talking to me about this sort of thing. Again, obviously I didn't say that, but he says that and I'm kind of just like a thumbs up, you know, didn't want to say anything about it because I'm like, this guy is trying to plan a date with me and I am 17, you know, way too young for him. So I don't know what the hell is going on with him. So then later that day, I had been at our weekly all-girls jujitsu class. Again, always fun. It was my coach's birthday. Um, me just messing my makeup up after I just fixed it. Um, but like I was saying, it was my coach's birthday. And I was just like, oh, I don't know if we'll do anything fun, etc., etc. So I kind of just said like, class was fun you know like it's always fun so nothing out of the ordinary and then he says still too shy to show your face lol and i just said not really laughy face again i'm like i'm not shy at all i'm just not going to be sending selfies to older men who are very clearly interested in minors. Later on, he just asked me what else I'd done for the day. And I just said, I'd gone shopping with my mom and my sister. He asked like, what sort of stuff I bought. And I was just like, oh, just some summary stuff since I'm going to California on Wednesday. And he's like, oh, I guess we'll have to push back the hangout. How long are you staying in California? And I'm like, dude, there is no hangout. Like, we are not going to hang out together. Again, didn't say that because this was a situation I had never been in. An extremely uncomfortable one. Um, yeah, just problematic all around on his end. So I just told him until the 12th because um, I was going to be gone August 7th through the 12th. And he said, oh man, I wish I can see more of your cute face. LOL, sorry, it's so boring today. Like, you know you're problematic, dude. Why? I will never understand people like this and their motivation or their desire to get together with children and I just kind of said lol no it's all good again didn't send him a selfie didn't want to send him a selfie he asks where I'm going to I tell him and say you know I'm visiting family and he says nice hope you have a fun trip hit me up when you get back and again just said thank you for sure kind of just wanting to and the conversation and then this is another part where it gets really weird so he asks are you taking online high school classes i say yes confirming to him that i am in fact a high school student and he asks if all of it is online and if it's like an accelerated program and i kind of just said oh in a way it's more just because I have health problems and it makes me unable to go to school full time. And then again, he says, cool, let's plan this when you get back from Cali. This meaning the hangout he wanted to have. And then the next day, he says, I really miss seeing your face, LOL. And at this point, I'm like, I'm really getting pissed off. Cause I'm like, you know, I am a minor. You know you should not be talking to me this way. So I just say, ha ha. And then I just ask, how's work going? Because I'm hoping to steer the conversation away from me. He tells me, and then he says, did you send me a snap? LOL. And I'm just like, ha ha, no, I didn't. Jeez, that scared me. Something just spilled on one of my shelves. Um... But 
I'm just like, haha, no, I didn't. I have no idea what he's talking about. I'm like, I have not sent you, like, any snaps, you know, besides just the one talking about his work. So then he says, darn, oh, well, I guess I'll see your pretty face later. And I just left him on red because I was like, you know what? I'm not dealing with this. I really, I don't have to respond, so I'm not going to. And then... He says, or I guess I can wait until you get back from Cali. Which, at that point, fortunately, I was not naive to these sort of tactics, um, you know, that are used to groom people, groom children specifically in this case. Um, but basically, essentially, getting upset with me was his way of trying to get what he wanted because he was under the assumption that I would be upset that he was upset with me and then do what he wanted. And when that tactic didn't work, he sent me another message saying, how was judo? I just responded and told him that judo was good. And he kind of just asks like, how was your day? Whatever kind of just small talk things and he ends up saying but i can't wait to see you after you get back and then send me a lot of cool photos from cali so then he messaged me on the 6th which is the day before i was supposed to leave for california saying hey you with two u's if you couldn't tell and asked how i was you know i said i was good how are you and then he doesn't respond. Instead, he says, I want to see your cute face before you leave for Cali. LOL. And then please and thank you. LOL. So again, demanding, not trying to give me a choice. He's moved past the point of asking and is now demanding. And I just said, ha ha. Again, I was like, I'm not sending you any selfies. He said, no cute face snap. LOL. And I said, I kind of only send selfies when I'm in the mood, haha. Ha. And then the sweat drop emoji. He said, I want to see your beautiful face, though. Just one more. Laughy face. And then the same tactic, he says, please, trying to get me to feel bad. Oh, I'm already messing this up. That's great. And when I don't respond to the please... He says, fine, I guess I'll see you when you get back. And I'm just like, okay. And I said, I mean, there's one on my story. He didn't respond to that. But then on the 7th said, hey, you. I said, hey. He said, how's Callie? I told him it was good. He asked what we did. And I said, went around to three Middle Eastern stores. Um, if you don't know, I'm Middle Eastern and I was visiting my mom's side of my family. And I hung out with my cousins that day. Again, obviously my cousins are also Middle Eastern. So we all just went around to some Middle Eastern stores since we don't have anywhere I live. Um, so it's always nice to be able to get goods and stuff that I can't get where I live. And then he asks, are you Syrian? And I'm like, no. And then I just said Egyptian. And he says, oh, cool. You're pretty much Cleopatra. I feel like that requires no explanation. But then he just asks, are you half Egyptian? And I just said, yeah, I am. And he's like, cool well i can't wait to see you on tuesday and i'm like btw cleopatra was greek dot 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 and he said i thought she was egyptian blah 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 but my history was off and then the next morning he's like cleopatra is actually egyptian too since she was born there i was like that's not how it works dot 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 nationality yes but ethnicity no and then he asked me what my favorite egyptian dish was i told him 
and he asked if there were any around town and I'm like bro what do you think like not where we live and he's like oh I guess we'll have to stick with empanadas and I'm like no we won't we're not sticking with anything and then he says you seem pretty bored out in Cali and I'm like dude I don't know what you gave you that impression but I just told him I'm not at all actually and then again he's talking about our hangout on Friday he's saying can't wait to see you on Monday or Tuesday let's push our hangout on Tuesday and saying he wants to push it back to Tuesday instead of Monday since I was flying back Monday and I said I get home at like midnight on Monday and then I asked the real question how old are you he says okay Tuesday it is then totally ignoring my very important question and I'm like you didn't answer my question he says ask me that on Tuesday and I'm like uh no can I ask why you want to go out with me he's like it's just empanadas and I'm like well it's clearly not since you're flirting with me bud but I said but that still doesn't answer my question just wondering and he says because I explain in person better than through text I'll tell you everything over coffee or tea at the park and I'm like okay now you're expanding on this date you want to go on like when did we ever say anything about coffee or tea or the park and I said I want to know beforehand and he says I want to deeply apologize for what I said earlier this past week and I'm like for which part buddy then he says so you're really landing at midnight asks me this on Saturday and I'm like yeah he says I'll, I guess we'll talk later and he said I'm not comfortable meeting up with you he said okay that's fine and I said, you won't even say how old you are, but I assume you're 28 plus. And then he ended up just unadding me and unfollowing me and blocking me on Instagram. And I went back to my gym when I got home and I asked one of my friends slash coaches if she know how old she was. And she was like, no, but I can look it up. So she pulls it up on the computer because obviously being a coach, she worked at the gym. And I found out he wasn't 28, but 30. He was 13 years older than me. And I asked her too, I was like, hey, do you think it's obvious by my Instagram profile that I'm in high school? Because I had SHS 20 in my bio, um, obviously representing that I was class of 2020 in high school and she's like yeah I think so and basically it ended up in me having a discussion with my head coaches and they were just like appalled at his behavior because they knew nothing about this and he ended up getting kicked out of the gym because his behavior was wildly inappropriate and yeah, my coaches handled it just amazingly well. I couldn't have asked for anything better. Yeah, I'm just so glad it's over. And I hope that he stays far away from any children. Um, yeah, it was, it was scary. But yeah, I'm just so glad that things are all good now. And thank you guys so much for taking the time to listen to this very serious topic um, and get ready with me. I tried to make it a little lighthearted um, because that's just what I was most comfortable with doing. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I will see you next time, hopefully with... with a video that's a bit more fun. Bye!